Hello everyone, it's Chris from Ward Electrical, Mansfield's local trusted electrical contractor, and I would like to welcome you all to the first episode in our new online series called Top Sparks. Now in this episode you're going to be joining us on a full rewire that we did for a lovely couple in Sutton in Ashfield. So without further ado, let's jump straight in onto site and get in with the action. So we set up, we're on site, we have made a start because we've had to sort of get ahead a little bit this morning and um, try and get some power back on for this afternoon, but I'll uh, I'll give you a little tour of, uh, of what we've been doing. So we've prepped up everywhere with dust sheets. This is typically how we would set up a uh, occupied rewire. It just saves or limits, should I say, dust getting onto furniture and furnishings and things. It's... Uh, it's just another method that we use to to protect your belongings and stuff in your house so uh, it's what we have to do now we've started upstairs we've had the floors up in the master bedroom and we've started pulling cables under the floors ready uh, because we ideally we want to get this bedroom put back for tonight for the customer because um, once we've got these floors back down today we shouldn't need to get them back up because all the cabling will be in We've brought the cable in across the landing. It's on the cable dolly this side. So we're going to tackle this side of the house a little bit later on today, but we're going to focus on, on this side for now. There's just one little thing that I want to show you. I think it's quite interesting, especially when you're doing a rewire on a house of this age. If you look under the floor, we've still got the original porcelain lamp holders. Now you don't see these anymore. You can see the cables are connected through. It's been used as sort of like a joint box. It, the house probably has been rewired at some point since it was built and that's what they've done to sort of just keep the continuity of the cables. We've got another one here just above the mains. If the focus actually works on the camera. Again, it's used as a, a junction box. said we've started pulling cables in to try and get ahead we've got here a lighting circuit and a socket circuit the reason that we've brought the socket circuit down with the light switch is because in the room above it's quite busy with uh, with furniture and access is quite difficult for the socket that they want on this wall there's a socket going sort of in the middle of this wall so we've had to we're going to bring the cables down and across rather than, than straight down on this one just makes things a little bit easier
and it is a light wired in TV coax cable. So that is aerial cable that's supplying that light. Beautiful. enjoyed the first episode in our series called Top Sparks. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, follow the Facebook page, follow the Instagram which we've just set up and has got absolutely no photos on it whatsoever. Um, all the details will be in the description but keep an eye on the channel and we'll be uploading more videos soon. See you later.